we here at the Cosmic Panel believe in um, brevity, which is why we upload 30-minute videos all the time. But it's also why we um, give you guys uh, one-sentence reviews at the beginning of, the, of these movie reviews. Yeah. Lucas and I just walked out of uh, Deadpool and Wolverine, Deadpool 3, uh, in 3D. I wanted to do it big, you know, uh, spend that little extra money, you know, um, cause I'm Mr. Moneybags and, uh, cause this is a big movie. This is a big movie for Marvel. Um, you know, people have, I think been starting to lose faith in this last phase here. Um, you know, where's the cohesion? Where's the, where's the end game here? Where's the plan? Um, and there is no plan. No cohesion. <laughs> but first, we'll give you our one sentence reviews. Lucas, you got one? Yeah. Uh with no spoilers, right? We're gonna this one sentence. This is all this is a spoiler full review. Yeah. Okay then. I think um, I think it's that's how we've been doing it, so spoilers. Spoilers. My one sentence review, I think that Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman work amazing together, but everything else feels incredibly auxiliary to them to the point where it almost feels like there's no stakes except for when those two are fighting that's a long sentence (laughs) it's a run-on sentence but you said one (laughs) um my one sentence review is going to be a fun romp that is a action-packed love letter to the fox marvel cinematic universe that's a good one a good one sentence um but yeah, yeah. um uh, let's let's talk about the two main stars ryan reynolds and hugh jackman what were your thoughts on them yeah i mean excellent chemistry for sure um if you guys couldn't already tell from the trailers this is a alternate universe version of logan who is disgraced he is as the TVA puts it the worst wolverine which i um, think is a bold fucking claim yeah it was a little yeah, that's like they could have at least shown us a little more to to really back that claim up. Um, I'm sorry, but like I'm pretty sure if there was a Nazi Wolverine, he would be like the worst Wolverine. <laughs> just saying, like like I, I'm just gonna point that out. Like there is a multiverse, so like there has to be a version of like Wolverine that is like a serial killer mm-hmm. or like Marvel ruins. Like I I think that Wolverine's pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> they showed a lot of cool Wolverines. There was that was really the uh the big um mon- cameo montage if yeah. you will um we got age of apocalypse wolverine we got patch we got comic accurate wolverine which was just uh so funny a hype oh joke my god that was um, so funny that was pretty good i think that was probably like top 3 jokes for me yeah i'm not going to lie we got um brown and yellow suit which also having hulk in that universe didn't make sense i wish they had gone first appearance suit to do that that was a strange choice yeah i was going to say it definitely felt like that was what it was supposed to be referencing to, but yeah. And then um, I know that cover, but they recreated the cover of an Uncanny X Men title. Uh, that's from I want to uh, cover issue. Excuse me. That's from uh, like the eighties. I want to say the mm. John Byrne era. Um, so that was sick. really cool with Wolverine on the the X the cross. Um, yeah. So that was sick. Um, yeah. So that was fun. But yeah, this is saying that this is the worst Wolverine is a little strange. Yeah, um, because without seeing exactly what happened, all we know is that he didn't come to their help, to come to their aid when they asked for help, like the X Men. I mean, so so, so is that strange. what was the reveal when when Cassandra went into his mind was that he he actually didn't listen, like he was actually there and just ignored them? That was the only thing. Well, he said he walked away, so he heard he probably heard them, but he was you know shit faced whatever he said, and then he didn't come to their aid he walked away and then he i guess came back later when it was already over hmm. that's kind of what i gathered i think i just think there should have been a little bit more there it's kind of strange but uh yeah um you know opening the movie with uh you know the classic deadpool dark humor you know um just destroying logan's corpse uh, was very that was on, great. very on brand. You know, great title sequence for sure. Um, the 3D was was great in those in that sequence. I thought with the credits. Yeah, and uh, yeah. Um, so, you know, definitely great chemistry between the two of them. I think they had a lot of good um, moments. You know, Wolverine is the the um, 
the straight faced player and Deadpool's the wild card, of course. Yeah. Um, you know, after I, I think after getting a similar chemistry between Cable and Deadpool, it was a little um it just kind of felt like more of the same. Mm, but it was still, fair. you know, great nonetheless to see Hugh back as Wolverine. I think he is the Wolverine, you know. I almost wish Cable came back for like a cameo or something. He didn't even appear in yeah. the film. I was surprised you didn't see anything of him. Yeah. I guess for Thanos purposes, I don't know. Yeah, probably. He probably cost too much anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, they, they were good together. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, no. I, I thought it was great. I really, I will say, even though I didn't necessarily understand why he was called the Warriors Wolverine, there was a lot of like gravitas to like when Logan was talking about his past. Like you felt it. Like he has been through so much and like it kind of weighs on him. And it's a little bit of almost that like Logan esque performance where it's like, He's tired of it. He just wants it to end. <laughs> like, like that is that is all he cares about. He either wants it to end or he wants to fix it. And so Deadpool kind of playing against him, being like the wild card, peeves him, but it works well because when when he has a moment alone, he's super just like, I don't know, I get absorbed into that. I was like, the campfire scene. Like, the moments where he's just like genuinely talking and Wade isn't interrupting him was like the most captivating moments for me. Where I was like, oh, this yeah. like has actual emotion to it. Um, not like Guardians of the Guardians three level of emotion. That for me is like probably the most emotional that like a Marvel film would get. Um but like at least in the recent movies, um, definitely. But yeah, no, it was it was good. I, I yeah, I liked it. Yeah. Um, you know, uh this this definitely feels like more of the same it's not anything earth shattering um you know we um basically just um address and contextualize where these other studios marvel movies went um yeah. and and, and, and it brings them into disney while also not bringing them into disney uh it sort of just says okay these are other universes but they're not part of the sacred timeline um, so it's just going to get a little fuzzy if we ever do get to return to these characters, you know, um, what the TVA has to say about it. Cause the whole TVA's, you know, um, thing in the past was to prune these other timelines. Um, I was kind of surprised we didn't get a little bit more, um, even, you know, you didn't have to show Tom Hiddleston directly, but a little more explanation of what's now is going on in the TVA now that, you know, Loki is, is single handedly, you know, controlling these branches. Yeah. Um, I know there's a VR game explaining that shit, but I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not getting into that. <laughs> is a VR game? Apparently where you see the world tree or some shit. And like, huh. it's, I don't know. I, I haven't looked into it because I was just like, okay past because <laughs> i'm I, I too busy that. but um yeah it you know we kind of just got this evil guy mr paradox who i do think is an actual marvel character probably he um, felt very one note but that was on purpose I, I, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I like cassandra more honestly she was significantly more interesting i actually yeah. really like the actress for her too mm-hmm um, God, the special effect of her hand going into people's skulls though was fucked. That yeah, that crazy. that bothered me so much how good <laughs> that was. Like when she yeah. was grabbing eyeballs and shit. Oh God. Yeah, that was cool. Um, yeah, some crazy Is that visual her thing effects in the, pal- in this in the comics because I'd never seen her do that in the comics. Yeah, I was gonna say. No, I I didn't quite understand that. Um, she was always a telepath, from what I understood. Yeah, I think that was it. just like a visual um tool. Mm. that they chose to go with um yeah she has tel- telepathy te- telekinesis but everything else was a little a bit of a gray area to me um but you know they, they can mess with her i guess as much as they want but they made her very 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 powerful um yeah so yeah uh this was kind of just a, a really fun action cameo filled uh time 
Um, you know, we yeah, got... Yeah, filled is an understatement. <laughs> well, I was hoping, really, to be honest, uh, I was kind of let down because I was hoping this was going to be Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe. I thought they were going to yeah, employ Deadpool as the agent to prune these other universes and he was just going to go through and kill everybody. That would have been really fun, I think. <sighs> You're right. But that would have been cool. instead, we have Deadpool's home world is at stake here. His timeline, paradox is threatening it. He's saying, "We can save you because you're special, uh, and bring you to the sacred timeline," which also could have probably been explained a bit more. But yeah, um, we had uh, so how the fuck did that he talk as to, the uh, motivator for Deadpool to come into the sacred uh, timeline. Also, how the fuck did he talk to Happy then? <laughs> because they yeah, said that... Earth six sixteen. Like there is, there's, there's. I'm trying to make sense out of a movie that really isn't trying to make sense. Yeah, which is which is the problem. Mm-hmm. So I really should just shut up and like. Well, again, like I think we had certain expectations for this movie. I think we thought we knew what they were going for. Um, we thought that this was what Marvel needed right now, um, but. Uh, I might just keep saying that and keep saying that for the next movie and the next movie at this point, because I don't think there really is a plan um, other than to just have fun with the multiverse at this point, which really feels like what they're doing and they don't have any plans of, of, uh, (laughs) I literally understand making more sense of it. They fucking made fun of the multiverse and it's still like such an integral part of their fucking like story. Like everyone was like all the Deadpool, like core were like, we're, we fucking hate the multiverse. Or some shit like that, whatever it was. It seemed, yeah, it was like, that was a weird moment. I was like, what are they really criticizing here? Because yeah, this is none of you. This, none of you yeah. die. None of you can die because you all regenerate. Well, no, one of them did die. <laughs> one, one, one very specific version did nice, die. Nice pool. <laughs> he wasn't that nice. Straight up, he was kind of a dick. He was like a passive aggressive bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like very, very passive aggressive. That's um, funny. Costumes looked phenomenal, we'll yeah. say, like on everyone. Uh, God, man, Gambit. I uh, really like Channing Tatum as Gambit. I did not think I would say that because every time I heard that Channing Tatum was going to be Gambit, I always rolled my fucking eyes. Mm-hmm. God, that was actually really fun. And I'm not going to lie, the accent was fucking killing me. <laughs> that was, that to yeah. me was the funniest joke in mm-hmm. the entire film. That was a uh, an unexpected uh surprise but that, i thought that was fantastic i thought they were gonna keep going into the room like i thought there was gonna be more and more people <laughs> keep going like i thought it was gonna go on for like two more minutes you know mm-hmm. what i mean like like it was gonna be blade electra yeah, the Channing Tatum, and then just the keep going <laughs> yeah. i think so, you know uh besides that henry cavill uh wolverine cameo there were definitely some people who just said no to this yeah. i think after no way home um a lot of actor after no way home and flash i yeah. think a lot of actors were like fuck this Definitely shit ben like, affleck. i'm not i'm not into this anymore ben affleck said no nick cage you know said no oh god um, if he got ghost Rider, that would have been so cool Ugh. yeah uh, you know uh uh who else who's all said no i mean any of the the x um actors uh the big x actors i should say they should have gotten uh, we did get Toad, Legion. we did get Pyro. We got Azazel. We got Lady Deathstrike. Um we got that purple haired lady whose name I forget. <laughs> um Yeah, but, yeah it, it was a it was a very strange uh Not direction enough. that I did not expect the movie to go in. Yeah, it was it was I will say it's probably out of the three Deadpool films, probably the weakest to be honest. Um, I don't know. I, it's it it is great when it comes to mo- character beats and moments, but overall plot, it felt very hollow at times. I guess mm-hmm. is the best way to put it. Um, it felt like we were almost going into the going through the motions rather to just get to the next like character interaction or cameo yeah. or whatever. Um, which is fine. I mean, this is dumb fun, but like we already did that for like two other movies. So it was like yeah. starting to get stale. So like mm-hmm. um, for me, I would, I, I wanted, I don't know. I, I wanted more actual meta commentary. That's the best way I can put it. Because the thing with Deadpool is that he is so well known for being the Merkle of mouth and meta meta as fuck. But like the whole point of meta commentary is to criticize, genuinely criticize and like to break down stuff. 
And even when he was breaking the fourth wall and stuff like that, it didn't feel like that. It didn't feel like he was he was criticizing or really trying to like point out the flaws of anything. Like the closest thing was that one moment with the multiverse. I think I think there were a couple uh, Disney jabs he took um, that I thought were good, but yeah, it it didn't. You know, like I'm saying, it, it's more of the same. You know, yeah. um, Deadpool, and that, but that's the problem that Deadpool has in the comics, right? Is like he can feel very one note if the writer wants him 100%. to just be a jokester. Uh, there's other depth to his character, and I feel like we got more of that in two. If anything, like there were more emotional moments with him and Vanessa and stuff like that. Yeah, but. Yeah, this was like, um, just like full on joke after joke after joke after joke, which, yeah, I guess is what Disney's about. Um, like the MCU stuff is always about, so maybe that's how he fit into their scheme a little bit. But it also just lacked um, dimension as a result, I think. I also don't think there were that many great jokes, like great jokes. Um, there were some really good ones, but I don't think there was anything that I was like, like, like off the top of my head, Deadpool one, when he grabs the, the, the cigar lighter and says, don't, sw-, I never said this before, but don't swallow. And it like shove it, shoves it in the guy's mouth. Like that for me was like that. That's a great joke that like lands hits and you're done payoff. Um, there wasn't really anything like, to that level where it's like, oh, this is awesome for me personally. Well, I guess nothing that like s- sticks with you, like quotable kind of thing. Yeah, I guess. But um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> this sounds very negative, but it's just, it's just yeah. Because... I don't know. It's just you know, like I said, there, there's more to Deadpool when the writer wants to give him more, and this kind of felt like. Uh, them recognizing the success that No Way Home had and trying to just replicate that cameo level uh, of just like fan service, um, which is fine, but I think they should be more concerned about the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe at this point. Like, people yeah. are going to see this movie because of Deadpool, but th- that was also Marvel's chance to harness those fans and be like, Redeem. hey, get excited for the next, you know, several movies, the next several projects, like, get hype. And it yeah. didn't didn't do that, you know. It, it really ended up not accomplishing a lot when it's all said and done. You know, Deadpool's universe is still existing. I guess all these other universes are still existing. Um, you know, they killed a they killed a good amount of people. I guess in the void, you know, Oliath like ate them or whatever. Um, so that's fine. But at the end of everything, Deadpool's not in the main universe now. Um, the main universe was untouched, unmen- uh, un- unseen almost the whole time. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's just a little bit of a missed opportunity, I feel like. No, 100%. I, um, yeah, no, I, I 100% agree. This isn't the shot of adrenaline that the MCU needed, um, which, like, after waiting so long, we this is the only MCU film that's come out this year. Um which is crazy to say, but yeah, like the fact that this is the only one and it's good, but not great is, is saying something that's, that's a problem. You know? Yeah. Um, I was surprised we didn't get any like X-Men 97 mention, like anything that gets us excited for more, um, more Marvel is, is like kind of like key at this point, you know? Yeah. Like, Honestly, I would have been fine if, like, we got. It's funny. Uh, this almost had more. This had more traveling the multiverse than Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. <laughs> um, well, like more <laughs> more character inclusion. More no, like more like you see actual different worlds <laughs> somehow. <laughs> like in that montage where he, he goes and sees like a shit ton of Wolverines. That's how. Oh, oh, great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. But yeah, no, but still, like, there could have been a lot more. If you're going to go into the multiverse, commit to it. Go for craziest fuck sets. Go for craziest fuck characters. You got Deadpool 2099. You got, like, you could have done 
Gwenpool. You could have done all these weird characters that would be obscure as fuck. Um, but you could build them out a little bit and have a little fun and then plot beat, move on. Or do Kill the Marvel Universe, which honestly probably would have been a better story. I'm not going to lie. Um, it would have yeah. given you the 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 thing of like, oh, we can hire Hugh Jackman so that he, it's a Wolverine that is wants to kill the Marvel Universe and then will be promised death because of it or some shit like that. Like there, there's a story there. The thing, the thing with Deadpool is, I guess. Okay, here's here's my 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 one problem. I guess with with modern Deadpool. Um, He's not an anti-hero. <laughs> like, he kills, but, like, he doesn't have the same weight as, like, a normal anti-hero would. It feels more like he's just a hero that just happens to kill more than anything else. An anti-hero should be genuinely morally gray. Like, serving their own purpose, and then it just happens to align sometimes with, like, the the good of the world. I guess maybe maybe because he helped save his people that he cared about, not the rest of the universe. He wasn't like really doing it for but still, like you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I see that. I see that. Like I would have liked if he was a little bit more selfish. Like, weirdly mm. enough. I would have liked it if because then it would be like, oh yeah, you can kill the other universes. Like like that would have been like if he had said that or something, I would have been fucking like, whoa, wait, what? Like I would have mm. been locked in though. Hmm. Just something to think about. <laughs> I guess my problem with it is just that um, it it plays so willy nilly with a lot of the concepts that they have now. Like, where does this realistically take place within, <laughs> you know, the oh, Loki, God. the Loki, so after two seasons Loki, of Loki? Because the, the fact that we didn't know about Cassandra and hadn't seen any of these characters in the void before that like characters have been to and back now is very strange. You know, like, I mean, I I, I can forgive that because the void is a a void. I feel like it could be like infinite. Okay. Whatever. You know, I I guess my problem is just like, how come these were the characters that they happened upon? Right. It could have been anybody. It could have been anything that didn't have to be Fox stuff. It could have been anything at all, literally anything. And especially with those Wolverine, cameos um only getting like you know one shot of each wolverine just makes it still feel so small you know um age of apocalypse wolverine just being in like an alley it's really strange um you know it just it limits the the frame still because you're not throwing in crazy you know obscure characters or you're not throwing in more extras or more use animation people to, to, use to, like f- to fill out shit. this these universes yeah like like you have like a what 300 million or like 400 million dollar budget like go go crazy how much let me see the budget real quick it is 200 million like you have you have more than enough that's the thing like also these films these days are <laughs> these films these days <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh like like two hundred million dollars is a shit ton of money. Is a shit ton. Yeah, inflation's fucked. I know because I'm living in fucking purgatory here in the U.S. But, um, <laughs> but like two hundred million is still enough to like do way more than than what they're actually doing. It feels like it feels like they're not they're not taking advantage of it. Practical sets, um, hiring more extras getting more characters, getting some better writers, getting some people in the writer's room. Like I'm sure, I'm sure um, this might've suffered honestly a little bit due to SAG Afro striking during the middle of their filming. Um, I'm sure if they had completely stopped and waited, some of these ploppies could have been fine tuned, honestly, but I digress. Yeah. I think that, you know, definitely you know check out the movie it's a fun time it's definitely worth seeing um you know maybe you know if you guys don't want to go for the full 3d experience you don't have to um there's there's a lot of fun stuff but it very much is fox um pointed and it felt limited in that way of like really the the only cameo of the 616 universe is happy hogan i'm gonna i'm gonna fucking hold a gun to kevin feige's head until he fucking admits that it's earth one nine 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 i'm gonna fucking go to his house today just kidding 
JK. For legal reasons, this is For a joke. For legal reasons, this is a joke. Um, no, but <laughs> it, it really felt Fox directed and it felt narrow in that in that same way. Which is you weird because there's actually a ton more Fox properties they could have touched on and poked fun at. Like Fan Four Stick was like mentioned there. They could have easily done Legion or The Gifted or like New Mutants. They could have. Mm-hmm. There's so much more like weird stuff they could have just like fooled mm-hmm. around with. It just had to be quick frames, you know. Um, the Wolverine montage was a lot of fun, but it felt limited. Um, at the end of the day, you know, like after I've watched it. And I think that's also just a result of no way home and a result of all these multiversal movies now where this feels so small because we've seen so much already. Um, and I just feel like this was their chance to go crazy with it. And it was a fun time. I think the Deadpool core thing was, was cool, but you know, when you give us a shit ton of Deadpools, I expect to see every single Deadpool. I expect to see Gwenpool. I expect to see, you know, crazy shit. Headpool was good. Lady Deadpool was good. Uh, uh, Gwen, uh, you know, Deadpool 2099. That was great. But then it was just copy and paste Deadpool suits. Yeah. I, I, I will say this. I bet. And I, I will hold, hold on to this. I bet, uh, 20 bucks that within the next, Let's give me a good time frame of like ten years. There's gonna be a Spider-Man Deadpool movie because of because of the success of this. Because yeah. this film is probably gonna do well, to be honest. And they're gonna be like, okay, so we we have one good buddy cop film. Let's let's put him with another person. <laughs> let's put him with another character that people love. Let's do Spider-Man and Deadpool, and then we'll rake in even more money. But yeah, I bet twenty bucks on that. You can hold me to that. But yeah, ten um... ten year time frame. So so it doesn't you know, happen I, in 10 years from today. <laughs> so July 26th, uh, 2034. You can, you can, you can, you can message me about this. Got to get the math on that. <laughs> He's going to mark it in his calendar. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I, I don't, it just, it all feels so strange now, you know, be, like it feels unofficial even though it is official like it just feels like such a fever dream to see all these characters on the screen now because i know they're not gonna address it again i know they're not gonna you know touch on these characters again unless they do a fourth deadpool movie which i wouldn't even see a or secret wars maybe if they do secret wars they might touch on it like briefly yeah like a single scene or something like that Mm -hmm. um but But they wouldn't they wouldn't put deadpool fully in it because he would yeah. literally bump it up to an R rating <laughs> by just being right. in the fucking film. <laughs> but especially with no mention of like Kang, I just, I feel like um, this was just sort of biding time. And this is like, Ooh, pretty, Spin pretty wheel. picture to look at, you know, while we bide our time to figure this out. They're waiting and for FF. That's especially, really, that's, yeah. I guess especially that's with really the trailer it. of, you know, um, or teaser, even though it was a full ass trailer. Um, of Brave New World, like they had to reshoot that. They had to go back and do so much work on that because I think they're sort of running on fumes here and they're not sure where to go. You know, um, I don't know what their plans are for Kang and we have no, we have no inkling of what their plans are going forward, you know, after this Deadpool movie. And that's really just, I think what they should be concerned about. This yeah. will make money off being dead, you know, off of just being a Deadpool movie. Yeah, exactly. This the 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 money earned from this is almost guaranteed. It's practically guaranteed. Um, if nothing else, then for Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman's star power. Yeah. Um, I will say two things I do want to bring up. I like that Hugh Jackman almost gets basically a little bit of a, a Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, the the disgraced Wolverine, gets almost a happy ending with uh laura that was actually really nice i did did like that it was it was something that like L- logan logan was great because it was it was a tragedy this felt a little bit more of like if you were really sad about logan which is valid because everyone was fucking sad as they made a joke about it in the fucking film uh this is almost like a little nice little bookend to that where it's like and then you never watch another film that hugh jackman stars in because you you never want them he will forever live with laura and that's it that's where the story that that is where my head cannon ends uh and second thing that postcard scene was really fucking funny <laughs> that was like genuinely that that might be top three joke for me in the film 
Yeah. So it goes. It goes. Um, Gambit. What did I say? After what second? Fuck. Uh, what Gambit not being like understandable? Or you yeah, to talk Gambit not being thing? understandable was really funny. <laughs> yeah. Was was the best joke in the film? I said something else was the second best joke in the film. Fuck. Uh, what was it? You just talked about the other films jokes. No, I, I talked about this. I, I said like this is like the second. Like I'd said it earlier. I'll I'll see it when I'm editing. <laughs> when I'm editing this, and I'll be like ah. <laughs> but uh, third best joke was 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 that the post credit scene. That was my favorite cameo. Was was Chris Evans as John? Oh yeah, it was so good. Was it was so straight. funny. Seeing him get his his skin flayed was so fucking wild though. That was like the moment where I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I was surprised. That shit like that should have been happening more often. <laughs> right. I feel like. Well, that that those are the moments where I was like, yeah, this is like no fucks given. Like this is Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe level where they just just destroy characters that you like and enjoy and that's like the unpleasantness of deadpool and that's just like you know commonplace for him yeah um but yeah that the the the, the idea that like johnny storm actually said all that shit was actually hilarious <laughs> like like deadpool wasn't lying at all he was genuinely for the first time ever being actually truthful <laughs> That to me was like really, really funny because it's Deadpool just just remembered it verbatim. Yeah, <laughs> it's 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 a great joke because you didn't expect it to actually be true because the entire time you you're you see Hugh Jackman, uh, you see I keep on saying calling Hugh Jackman, you see Logan's reaction and you're like, oh, no, he's making up shit on the spot. Oh, no. And then Johnny gets killed. and You're like, no, he didn't deserve it. No, he he said all that shit. He he. That motherfucker didn't close his mouth. He 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 said all that shit. He said it with his chest. That's his own fault. <laughs> I was just surprised he wasn't dead after the initial fall. <laughs> yeah, same. I thought I thought he cracked his neck. I was yeah. like, whoa, <laughs> wild. Yeah. But then again, he did fall from space. So <laughs> right in 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 the second film, so after Silver Surfer, like choked him out. So. I guess, I guess, yeah, that, that is isn't insane to say that he would survive that fall. <laughs> I'm sure all the other fans agree with you in this and remember that fact. Oh, yeah, you know, you know, that really obscure moment. Um, but yeah, you know, a, a fun time. Definitely, definitely really cool. Costumes are amazing. Chemistry is great. Action's fantastic. You know, just action choreography is tip top. Um, but yeah, just, you know leaves me a little concerned as to as to what their their grand plan is here because i think that mcu fatigue is only going to continue and i think it's in their best interest to continue to do you know animated stuff to really you know go crazy on disney plus Mm -hmm. shit because that seems to be where they can have the most freedom uh to just have a good story and not be concerned with this larger universe but right now all they're pushing us is multiverse 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 and it just feels very like dry and stale at this point yeah, no, hundred percent. But yeah, that's been our review of uh, Deadpool three. Uh, what do we Deadpool. do out of five? Uh, yeah. So, uh, Elias, what's your ranking out of five of Deadpool and Wolverine? Um, I'm gonna give it uh, three adamantium femurs out of five. That's good. I was gonna give it three uh, dog pool giant oversized tongues out of five <laughs> so um yeah solid but not not great um but yeah that's been our review hopefully you guys enjoy and uh definitely stay tuned we got uh weekly polls happening every week where we discuss our favorite comics and uh favorite new books know, that come out favorite new books uh and we got some other stuff on the works uh and definitely comment down below if you're interested in seeing hearing any uh, opinions on other stuff comment below what you guys thought of deadpool 3 um, yeah like subscribe smash that bell uh don't forget to support your local movie theater and uh watch some movies Bye-bye. a 24 film no <laughs>